I am uh, registered uh, in Alaska as what's called undecided, uh, an independent. So I have not registered as a Democrat or as a Republican, but I am a well-known Republican fundraiser. Um, I've supported all the Republican candidates in the state. Um, I meet with the two senators, the congressman, the governor on a regular basis, um, and uh, they welcome me as, uh, as someone they know uh, uh, supports the Republican Party. So just a little story about that. On Tuesday of this past week, we had a primary election in the state of, of, of Alaska. So uh, what we're doing is choosing the candidates for the Republican Party and the candidates for the Democratic Party that will run for the state legislature in Alaska in November. Um, I've been a proponent in Alaska of getting the Republican Party to be more focused and more disciplined on these elections. There's been this crazy thing in Alaska where we've elected Republicans that have then gone down to our legislator, legislature and organized with Democrats as the majority party. So they get elected as Republicans, but they act as Democrats. So my view was we had to throw these guys out and let's get rid of them. And so I, I organized, I was one of a number of organizers of a business group that got together, we raised money, we put together a campaign and we defeated them all. We changed nine out of the, there are, let's see, 40, um, uh, 50 seats that were up for election. And out of that 50, uh, we, we threw out nine uh, people that had not been supporting the governor and not been supporting Pebble. It's going to make a dramatic change in in the legislature here in Alaska, and and I was a I was a leader in that effort for the Republican Party. So so my uh, my Democratic uh, uh, politics is really uh, is really not a problem. Now, having said that, uh, it's entirely possible that we may have Biden as a president, um, and if we do, I'm going to brush off my Democratic credentials um, and uh, start using them a little more uh, actively than I do.